Hello students, today we are going to learn about costumes of men of different states like West Bengal, Orissa, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Goa and Northeastern states along with the tribal costumes. Coming to the costumes of men from Uttar Pradesh, the common people wear dhoti with kurta or shirt while a large number of men prefer pyjamas instead of dhoti. Two varieties of lower garment one that tapers below the knees which is called churidar and the other that maintains the same breadth from top to bottom are common among which the later one is most preferred lungi is also worn mostly by the muslims and the dhoti is worn with a kachacha the posterior tuck while wearing dhoti unlike the gujarati style frontal pleats are formed out of the portion that comes from the right side coming to the eastern region in the eastern region the length of the pleats of dhoti is generally allowed to dangle in front but in other regions the length of the dhoti is shortened by the second tucking in at the waist the peasants and the laborers in response to the working needs do not pleat the right portion but after rolling it up they tie the roll round the waist with a knot coming to the upper garment kurta is the basic upper garment of men of uttar pradesh the kurta looser than the shirt has wide cuffless sleeves and is a collarless white garment reaching up to the mid thighs or knees a kind of tight waistcoat commonly known as jawahar jacket is sometimes worn over a kurta a bandi or banian hoisery vest is used as an underwear on formal occasions the elite put on an achkan which is an upper garment similar to sherwani or sherwani with churidar or white pyjamas and a cap though turban is out of fashion in urban areas a cap is sometimes sported as we move from west to east of india headdress becomes smaller and scantier the voluminous pagras and safas of rajasthan and punjab change into more tight and compact turbans of uttar pradesh in uttar pradesh and bihar caps are more in evidence they are round caps folding caps formed like a boat which is called kastinuma and caps with two loon shaped pieces sewn together and gandhi caps etc are more common older men of certain predominant muslim quarters wear angharka waistcoat which is usually embroidered white pyjamas and a cloth cap the angharka is derived from the mughal jama the earlier form of coat known to india has gone through many modifications in uttar pradesh variety this traditional long coat has a high waistline so that it fits the chest rather closely and then proceeds up to the knees like a skirt with gathers its extra long and tapering sleeves form circular folds on the arms tapes or strings are used to fasten it at the sides coming to the villages the usual dress of men in village includes dhoti kurta or bandi and a turban or gandhi cap villagers generally use the bandi as the main upper garment it is close fitting half sleeved or sleeveless vest which is sometimes provided with pockets this type of apparel was evolved from bagal bandi a short close fitting waistcoat with double flaps the upper being tied at the left side by two pairs of tapes it is sleeveless variety known as bandi saluka or patia become popular with the working class males as it allowed free movement necessary for manual work now the bandi also does the duty of an undergarment when a kurta is worn over it sometimes the working class in villages do not cover the upper part of their body they use an angocha or gamcha which is a scarf or local towel which they carry over the shoulder or use a kamarband when at work they may also wrap it round the head as an protection from the sun coming to the tribal costumes of uttar pradesh lohta village in varanasi district east men of the hindu community wear dhoti kurta or shirt and banian or bandi while doing manual labor only bandi or banian is used as an upper garment sometimes a scarf is used round the neck or is placed on the shoulders men of the muslim community wear loose 
or colored pyjamas, lungi, banyan, shirt and a cap. Sherwani or achkan is also used by well-to-do classes. Some Muslims use dhoti in the Hindu style. Coming to the costumes of men from Madhya Pradesh and Goa, Madhya Pradesh is also called as a heart of India where costumes differ among people, tribes, cultures, regions and so on. The clothing of this state of India display the multiplicity in diversity aspects. Textiles and handicrafts are designed beautifully with rich ornaments. There is some similarity of dress in these two states and Madhya Pradesh. In fact, a kind of standardization in dress is taking place throughout northern India. Situated in the central region of India, surrounded by the seven states, Madhya Pradesh is a melting pot of many strands of Indian culture. Though territorially it is more affiliated to the two northern states mentioned above, it has also been influenced by other neighboring states, particularly Rajasthan and Maharashtra. More than 20% of the population of this state is tribal, and the tribal influence is evident especially in the eastern part of the state. Dress is a major part of Madhya Pradesh is similar to that of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. Coming to the costume of men of Madhya Pradesh, the main ensemble of men include dhoti, bandi, kurta and turban. Most of the men in Madhya Pradesh wear dhoti as a traditional dress. Safa is a type of turban which is commonly worn by males. There is a black or white jacket called as mirzai or bandi which is an attractive attire particularly in Malwa and Bandalkhand districts. The myriad colors of the costume give a dignified and radiant appearance. Tribal people wear short dhotis mostly in remote areas of Madhya Pradesh which is known as Langoti, tribal costumes of Madhya Pradesh. Richari village in Dhatia district north. The village in Bandalkhand region has a multicast composition with ahirs in majority. Men wear dhoti, kurta or shirt. The poorer people use bandi instead of kurta. All elderly members of various communities wrap a 7 meter long cloth round their head. A piece of thin cloth usually red is slung across the shoulder while going out. Coming to the Naherkeda village, Indore district west. The village is inhabited by the tribes of Banjara. The men wear dhoti, shirt and turban, generally of red color. Jaitpur village in Jabalpur district central. The village is in the tribal belt, mostly covered by the thick forest and hill rocks. The Gonds had ruled large area of this tribal belt before the advent of British and for this region, the region is also known as Gondwana. The men wear a short dhoti, which is of 3.7 meter long, usually above the knees and known as Pardaniya. They also wear a saluka, which is a vest or sometimes a shirt. An angocha, which is a country towel, is loosely thrown over the shoulders. The older people keep their head covered by wrapping round a piece of cloth with its loose end hanging at the back. Coming to the costume of men of Goa, people of Goa wear clothing as per its tropical climates. Cotton clothes costumes are ideal for tropical climate places such as Goa. Therefore, most of the clothes are inspired by the weather and cotton outfits are worn by inhabitants of Goa throughout this southern state of India. Coming to the Verna village in Sal City, Taluka of Goa West. It is a Govan village in Union Territory of Goa, Daman and Diu. About 90% of the village population is Christians belonging to Brahmins, Sudra, Khumbar and Gauda communities. Among the Christian Brahmins, the men generally wear shirt and shorts at home and shirt and trousers or complete suit while going out. Coming to the Sildara community, the men among the Sildara community dress themselves in banyan vest and shorts at home and shirt or bush shirt and trouser while going out. The Gauda men do not put on much clothes. The men wear a strip of loin cloth. At times, they add a banyan to their dress. A few well-to-do Gauda men wear shirt and trouser while going out. Coming to the next one, costumes of men from West Bengal and Orissa. Costumes of West Bengal represents the rich traditional culture of the region and the Punjabi 
form of dhoti are common dresses among men. Costumes of West Bengal and Orissa, there is some marked divergence discernible between the costumes of Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal. Headdress completely disappears here and pyjamas are not the customary dresses. Male attire of West Bengal and Orissa, the common male dress is dhoti and Punjabi which is a kurta. The dhoti which is here called dhoti is worn round the waist in a style of northern India with pleats in front called concha and rare pleats called kacha or mal concha. The concha formed from the surplus portion coming over from the right is generally kept dangling in front. For the sake of convenience and free movement, many people shorten its length by a second tucking in. In Orissa, the style is same and the dangling pleats called fera in Oriya are similarly treated so that the lower end fall in front the foot lower from the waist. No undergarment was previously worn with the dhoti but town bred men nowadays usually use underwear. Punjabi is a Bengali name for kutta which was once considered an article of Punjabi dress which is a collarless and a cuffless apparel. It is worn over ganji which is a hoisery vest which is slowly replacing by fotia or bandi an undergarment. Another article of dress is the scarf which is called uttariyo which is neatly folded lengthwise and placed on the left shoulder. The uttariyo along with the Punjabi and dhuti forms the complete formal dress. No headdress is worn by the men. In winter, chadar is used to swathe the upper part of the body. Coming to the tribal costumes, Bhumji Vidhan Sol village in Midhanpur district south. Surrounded by the dense forest and inhabited by the aboriginal tribes of Lodas and Bhumijs, the village of Bhumijdan Sol is still in such a primitive stage that some of the tribals still light their chuttis by rubbing two pieces of wood. The dress of Lodas and Bhumijas differ a little from each other. The Lodas wrap a country napkin which is 3 to 4 cubits round the waist covering half of the thighs. Some wear a longer piece which is 7 to 8 cubits without the posterior tuck. Though the Bhumijis wear longer dhotis which is 7 to 8 cubits, they hardly feel the necessity of covering the legs below the knees. While going out, they wear the dhoti with a posterior tuck and lower it below the knees. Coming to the tribal costumes of Orissa, Dhanlal village in Kioniljar district northeast. The village has a tribal population of Buyas and Kolas. Their dress consists of white handloom or milk cloth. The current preference is for the later one as it is less costly. Men wear a piece of white cloth which is 91 cm by 61 cm round the waist with a posterior tuck which hardly extends up to the knees. Another small piece of cloth folded lengthwise is slung on the shoulder or tied round the lions. Shirts and bunions are used only on festival occasions or on journey out of the village. Coming to the costumes of men from northeastern states of India, northeast area of India has seven beautiful states of Assam, Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram, Nagaland, Manipur and Tripura and these are collectively called seven sisters. There is a lot of scenic beauty in northeast but the cultural richness is also equally mesmerizing. Recently, cuts and silots inspired from the northeastern states have begun to be very popular on the Indian fashion circuits and some of the styles has also been represented by international designers. Coming to the state of Sikkim, spread below Kanchenjunga, Earth's third highest mountain, Sikkim a mountainous state bounded by Tibet in the north, Bhutan in the east, Nepal in the west, Bengal in the south is the 22nd Indian state consists of three broad ethnic groups. They are the Nepalese, Bhutias and Lepchas. Nepalese dress for men. The traditional Nepalese dress consists of a full sleeved shirt which is called daura, fastened with threads fixed at different places. A pair of tight fitting pyjamas which are called surwal, a waistcoat which is called ash coat and a cap with a slanting top which is called dhaka topi is common. Sometimes a 12 cubit long cloth which is called patuka is wrapped round the waist like a belt and the Nepalese traditional weapon 
kukuri is tucked into it. Coming to the traditional dress of Bhutia men, they wear a full sleeve dress called foko with brocaded patterns worn from shoulder to shin and held with a sash which is called karak. A full sleeve shirt with collar called entatsi is worn underneath the kho. A waistcoat called jaja is worn on full sleeve shirt. A cap with a mount of tiny corals knitted together in the middle which is called thuri shambu and hand sewn velvet and leather shoots called sotsi completes the butia dress. Coming to the traditional dress of lepcha men, the traditional outer garment of lepcha men is tokro, a cotton sheet of multicolored stripes. It is wrapped around the body in such a manner that it fully covers the front from the right shoulder down to the knees. It then passes under the left arm, covers the back and is joined with the upper edge of the front portion and held in position with a pin at the right shoulder. A sash is tied round the waist. Underneath thokro, the outer garment, a white shirt, togo is worn. A pair of loose cotton pajamas, which are gyodo, reaching below the knees, are worn. Chamboturi, a woolen cap, sometimes with a red pom-pom, is in the middle. A cotton bag slung from the right shoulder and hanging on the left side is called thangip is also worn. A lepcha sword called tukmok, other articles which completes the territorial ensemble. Coming to the costume of Assam, Assam has a rich culture and tradition. Its dress include golden silk fiber or muga. These costumes has a lot of demand not only in India but also in other parts of the world as well. The common attire of Assamese men is dhoti and kurta or shirt. Dhoti is worn with a lengthy which is a posterior tuck and the style of wear is similar to that of West Bengal. A big shawl, coat or waistcoat is also used. In rural areas, the dhoti reaches just over below the knees. During summer and rainy seasons, villagers use no upper garment but a gamosa which is an Assamese towel is thrown over the left shoulder or tied around the waist or head according to the fancy. Coming to the tribal costumes of Assam. Tribes of Assam live mostly in the hilly tracks and adjoining plains. The main components of dress of tribal include Mikir tribe. Mikirs, one of the major tribes, have their home in Mikir and northern Kachar hills of Assam and in neighboring states. The men put on a piece of cloth known as rikong round their waist and a turban called poho. They wear a long waistcoat called choi and use a warm wrapper during the cold seasons. Coming to the state of Meghalaya, a mountainous range that stretches from west to east comprising Garo, Kasi, Jaintia hills. 80% of the population of the state is tribal. The Garo, Kasi and Nar, which is Jaintia, are the dominant tribal areas or tribal groups of this state. Coming to the Kasi men's costume, the Kasi men wear shirt, pant, coat, vest and an underwear, all tailored from mill fabrics. The region had early contact with Christian missionaries in the middle of the 19th century. A Kasi works in the field in pants or shorts and a shirt. He wraps a thick woolen cloth in winter. For headgear, the elderly men wind a cloth round the head while the younger people wear a woolen cap. Nar men's costume include, there is not much to distinguish between dresses of Nar or Jantias and Kasis. The Nar men also use a dress in the Kasi manner, that is, their costume even comprises of shirt, pant, coat, vest and an underwear. Coming to the Garo men's costume, the Garos do not elaborately dress like the Kasis. The Garo men have adopted shirt, trouser and a coat. Coming to the Tripura state, Tripuris have their own traditional dress. This type of dress is similar to that of the rest of the Northeast Indian people. But the pattern and the design is totally different. The state has no mountain proper but the land is uneven because of the low hills. Bengali comprises both Hindus and Muslims constitute the major community. They follow the same tradition in dress as prevalent in West Bengal. Some have adopted the modern garments. 
among the 19 tribes, Tripuras constitute the most predominant session. The usual costume of men in Tripura is the loose cloth resembling a towel known as Rikutu, Ghamcha worn with a shirt known as Kubai. During the summer seasons or summer months, people put on a turban or pagri over their head to protect themselves from excessive heat and humid. Coming to the state of Mizoram, the Mizo hills are inhabited by a group of tribes including Lucias, Mars, Pavis, Lakhars, Pintis and Rals. They are generally known as Mizos. Though Mizo is a generic term meaning a higher land, among men western dress is becoming a fashion and they wear a shirt, a pair of trousers or short and a coat. On special occasions or when attending church services, a complete suit is used. While working in the field, men sometimes wear over the trouser an apron like rectangular piece of cloth called puan. Coming to the state of Manipur, the outfit of Manipur comprises the unique charisma and attributes. The traditional costume of Manipur are very simple. It is also easier to wear them. Beautiful costume looks stunning with their unique designs and patterns. Men in the valley is similar to that of Bengalis, which include white turban, which is called pagri, jacket, and a dhoti. Thangulkhan men in the west of Impal, not a cloth round the waist having red and black stripes with tiny white and green patterns. In cold weather, they put on a shawl of red and black stripes. Men of Mavo Naga tribe in the north use a short black cotton kilt ornamented by three to four rows of cowries and a cotton rug thrown over the shoulder. Men of the Kabuyi tribe in the east of Impal use shirt and kudis, which is narrower and shorter than dhoti. Dhoti and trouser are also worn by this men. Coming to the state of Nagaland, Nagaland, India's eastern frontier state has 16 Naga tribes and four non-Naga tribes according to 1971 census. Nagaland traditional costumes are quite different to compare with other region costumes in India. Nagaland people give very priority to their tradition and culture. The traditional Nagaland costume seems very attractive and colorful. The decorative shawl of Nagaland are very popular tradition dresses among their traditional dresses. In order of population, the major Naga tribes are Avo, Konyak, Sarna, Chakhesang, Angami, Lota, Sangtam, Pom, and Chang. The traditional dress patterns among the different tribes like Angami, Chakhesang, Jeliang Graung, and Hengma are almost the same, though there are variations in the mode of wearing the dress. Costume of Nagaland include various types of shawls. For instance, the ornate warrior celebrating shawl called Sungko Tepsu is a characteristic of the Avos clan. Apart from the shawl, the normal working dress is a kilt generally of black color. It may be embroidered with cowries. A knee length kilt of light blue or black color is the typical dress of men. Men of status wear kilt decorated with two to three lines of cowries, striped long its length and hemmed on the two borders. The cowries are rubbed on stones before being embroidered so that they may stick well. They are also sewn by the men who wears them on the kilt and never by his wife or anybody else. The kilt is fastened with a belt. A shawl or chadar is worn outside a typical jacket though the latter is not a compulsory wear. The most prominent item of Naga dress is the shawl or chadar red and yellow or green band on black cloth is the common pattern among the Angamis. In the past, a tribe could be distinguished by the pattern on the shawl, but now much borrowing of the designs and unconventional patterns have blurred the distinctions. Sometimes scarves or shawls of mixed colors are also worn broadly across the chest, keeping the arms bare. Coming to the district of Lotha, situated in the west, the traditional dress of Lotha men is a white or blue line cloth with red band over it. Coming to the Konyak tribes, men in the north use a line cloth. 
in the past the men folk used to crop their hair in a round way but now they prefer the modern style coming to the arunachal pradesh costume the state has a rich array of 25 major tribe groups which can be further subdivided into 80 subgroups each having a dialect of its own the men of wanche tribe wear a line cloth colored shoulder band and a wrapper exposure of the body above the waist is a common one and both men and women wear headdress made of cane slips decorated with beads and stones coming to the singpo tribe the men have a lungi with a checkered pattern tight fitting jacket and a white turban coming to the lohit district in lohit district the muslim men wear a waist cloth with embroidered flap in front a sleeveless cloth or sleeveless coat of maroon color and a woven cane headdress is a common kamti tribe the dress of kamti tribe is almost similar to that of singpos tribes constitute 92% of the total population of the sanbresi district nishis earlier called daflas are numerically the most predominant and powerful tribes of sanbresi the nishi men wear a coarse loin cloth and a blanket woven from the fibers of wild plants the blanket is held in the front of the body reaching half way to the thighs the two ends are passed below the armpit and then received crosswise over the shoulders and fastened together in front over the chest with an iron or bamboo pin numerous strings of beads and brass chains are displayed on the chest and bamboo plugs or earrings decorate the ears on the left wrist there is a coil of hair strings and on the right a number of bangles are worn a number of cane rings are worn round the waist and a pair of cane garters below the knees the forehead is adorned by a bun of plaited hair though which a foot long one or two brass skewers are passed horizontally they also wear a cane helmet surmounted by feathers and a crest of hornbill beak dyed in scarlet color they also wear a cane helmet surmounted by feather and a crest of hornbill beak dyed in scarlet color today we have learned about costumes of men and special features of men of different states like west bengal orissa uttar pradesh madhya pradesh goa and northeastern states of india thank you